Judy House. I think everybody around in this area and some other areas of the state of Georgia know Jody Heiss. At least I do. Well, thank you. Always great to be here at this spectacular event. Great turnout. Always good to see you. Well, how's things looking, Jody? Things are looking great. You know, we are extremely pleased to be in the runoff and to have finished in first place in this. And uh, we're looking forward now to the next eight weeks and jumping over the next hurdle. Okay. So you're still having to work hard. Oh, goodness. We started the very next day Yo, did after you? the election. Yes, sir. There's no, there's no time for rest. You know, they say sleep is overrated, and uh, I'm beginning to believe it. Okay. Well, everybody that I talk to remembers you and remembers your background, so uh, that's a plus for you. Yes, sir, it is. We're very grateful to have had so much support and people as a, the fight with the ACLU and the IRS. Uh, and now, you know, really, we've got to take the battle to Washington. We, the people, are responsible for the condition of our country. And this is, you know, with our campaign, this is about we, the people, and about us standing up and saying we want our country back. Well, I just saw on Fox News before uh, this afternoon, Obama had a news conference saying he was going to pull almost 10,000 American troops out of Afghanistan by 2015. Is this another one of his sneaky political moves? Well, I didn't see that report, but it very well may be. You know, we are, it's shameful what we're doing to our veterans is, and what we're doing across the world as far as our military. We're not showing any strength or leadership at all. And, you know, if we're on a mission to fight a war, we need to fight the war, we need to win, we need to get back home. But how can you fight a war pulling people out of the area? That's my point exactly. And, and to say we're pulling out, you know, we're, our foreign policy is, is horrifying at this point. Right. Well, do you think the situation in Washington now, with all that uh, President Obama is trying to do, that he's setting himself up to try to run for another term somewhere or another, because, you know, he said he had a pen and a telephone. Well, you know, I don't think we're going to put up with that. Okay. It's, uh, it's time to move on, and that's going to happen. Okay, so you're looking forward to uh, the election day, and that will be? July 22nd. Early voting actually begins July 1st, so we're uh, not too far away. It'll be here before we know it. Okay, tell, tell us how people can pull your webpage up. Thank you. Our website is jodyheist.com, J-O-D-Y-H-I-C-E.com. I want to mention this because I just heard you a few weeks ago at the church I attend here in Walton County. Uh, you did a great job delivering that message on Sunday morning at a church here in Walton County, and you're still doing ministry work as well. Yes, sir. We're being as active as we can and, you know, very blessed to, to have invitations to speak at various churches throughout the 10th District. And uh, we, we take up every opportunity we can. And that's not a political message. It's a message about us standing up and getting involved in what's happening in our country. Well, if you remember, folks, they're viewing this uh, situation here, that this guy here was pastor of the Bethlehem First Baptist Church for a long, long time, and he wanted to get into politics, and he got into it with both feet. Both feet, both arms, everything but my nose sticking out in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Jody, good to see you, buddy. It is great to see you as well. Yes, Thank sir. you very yes, much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you.